<laughs> hey everyone, it's me Leon and today I bring you what happened? Okay, today I bring you news about Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh in this case. Uh bring you information about Yu-Gi-Oh as we are about to start Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. Yeah, plenty. So we actually will be stepping into Yu-Gi-Oh territory like, at this point. So we will have fight videos and stuff like that and make things as interesting as they can, same uh, just like our uh, Vanguard videos. First things first, we would like to talk about the new Yu-Gi-Oh anime called Yu-Gi-Oh Reigns. Anyways, the new protagonist is called... Yus... Okay, the new, the new protagonist's name is called Yusaku. <laughs> okay, so basically Yusaku is the new the new protagonist for this upcoming series. I know the name is awkward, I have I'm I'm just there. So anyways, he's the new protagonist for the new upcoming Yu-Gi-Oh! series. And this time round they're treading into new territory with new zones and new everything else, but we're gonna go through the anime for now. For the anime A lot of things is happening. First things first, we talk about Yusaku. He looks like Luat that went to high school in a way due to the look of his hair. You look wherever cat is at Basically his hair color it reminds you of Luat a lot due to the color combination. However, um, when he goes into the dueling world, uh sorry, I say the dueling world, basically the system changed. Apparently right now what we will give the information we're given so far is that he go into a virtual reality world and then they do hoverboard stuff. So they went from Olympics, from Act 5 to Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Can I get my motor can I get my motorcycle back? So, okay, as any of as most of the uh, protagonists for Yu-Gi-Oh! series, they he also have a supporting character, some organism thing, at least as far as the information was given on the Shonen Jump. And it's not stated what kind of organism is this, but it's just something supporting him like the like Yugi has his uh, sexy half naked pharaoh and the uh, crimson dragon for you say yada yada and you know okay now we'll talk about the new mechanics for this game um okay basically what happens to Yu-Gi-Oh right now is that there's a lot of changes the few entirely change in a way is that okay for those who already are playing Yu-Gi-Oh or recently started within this few uh, years, you know that the the field itself has the Pendulum Zone, Monster Zone, Magic Trap, Extra Deck, you know, the usual stuff. It's just things add on to the field, but now what they did with the entire field is that Pendulum Zone is now in the Magic Trap, which is on the two ends, the far left and the far right. As for Extra Deck Monsters, why did I mention about that is that Right now, they have a new zone called the extra extra monster zone, which is two. There's only two zones of that in the center, kind of like Vanguard's Guardian Circle, but it's not the Guardian Circle. And when you summon monsters from the extra deck, it goes into that zone immediately. Basically, you can no longer spam summon as what you have always been doing if you play like Pendulum Summoning, XC Summoning, stuff like that. So long it comes from the extra deck, it goes straight into that zone. And when occupying that zone, the other zone will automatically go to your opponent. When you spend summon monsters from the extra deck zone, it will go straight into that zone and occupying the extra extra monster zone. So you cannot have a full field of junk warrior or things. But why is that? Why the complication? Because I believe, at least from my perspective, is that they're trying to balance out everything again. They're trying to reset everything back into its place in a way that there is some control like they no longer can spam summoning and that's, uh, that's not that's not fun half the time for extra deck monsters no control like 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 <laughs> like the sound outside yeah oops they want to like balance things out once again because back because right now what's happening on to the Yu-Gi-Oh main game is that everybody just spam summons and then usually there's no breathing space for the other player that's usually what happens uh. it's like they just exceed 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 and is carry on sir. so they, maybe they're trying to balance things out again and try to reshape the game once again and giving it new experience of game so maybe there will be new formats in the future as well as for 
the link monster as I just talked about which is basically the new mechanics for this series now is that these monsters are very special they don't have levels what happens is that these monsters can only be special summoned by using material that total up to the number of effect monsters or link monster as materials and depending on how many links the monster represents okay, if you look at the card okay, the card has attack power stated there like for example the main Yusaka uh, Yus Yusaku's new uh, main protagonist card the decode, uh, decode talker the power is 2-3 2300 Okay. It has link tree, so basically you need two or more effect monsters to summon this guy, or you need monsters that has link two or one to summon to total up the number of links to special summon from your extra deck. And it goes into the link, it goes into the extra monster zone. If you look at the card, the monsters now has this border and have arrows pointing all different directions. It points there, and those that lights up is where the monster is linked to. And those monsters that link to it, uh, that occupies it. So for example, like say he the decode talker is two on both the left and right arrow, and then one in the front arrow. So when one in the uh, so what happens is that the cards is linked to it are now part of it's not part of him. It's linked to him. So whatever skill he use, it will affect the monsters uh, that is in that zone. That includes your opponent. At least from my understanding, is that it includes your opponent. So for example, the two at the from the bottom is yours. Okay, so they are linked to him for skill. And then the one in front is actually pointing to one of your opponent's monsters. That monster can act, would probably also be one of the materials used uh, that is connected to him, unless the monster switches position or something like that, which uh, for now we do not know. Something around like that, as from understanding of reading the rules. So now let's talk more about the Code Talker, which is Yusa uh, Yusaku's main monster. So what happens is that okay, he has some. Uh, his skill is he. When this card is uh, this card plus 500 attack power for each monster that's linked to him, and he's a cyber dark type. By the way, cyber dark, uh, cyber types are new archetypes for the game now, so it's probably the main the main character's new archetype by itself just for him. Then his second ability, which is uh he is which is quite typical nowadays, is that he gets to negate the ability. So uh, what happens is that when an opponent activates a card ability, that basically targets a card you control, you can use his ability, you can tribute one of your monsters that's linked to him, or tribute one of the monsters that's linked to him, probably even your opponent's, you can tribute it, and then negate the activation and destroy it. So it's kind of nice, but it's also kind of like a staple skill nowadays, so I guess it's kind of okay. It's actually quite interesting to start, now that uh, straight away an ace monster with ability like that, which is actually quite threatening in, in more ways than one. As for when the starter deck is releasing, uh, it's on the 25th March. It's releasing in Japan. I don't know about Singapore, but it should be around the same time, usually. At the same time, the, as for the anime, it's somewhere in spring, so it's between March and April, around there. At least that's what Cat told me, so if it's wrong, you can go and um, find it on the Discord chat. So yeah, he was almost told me that. And that's all for today, and if you are looking forward to see more stuff that we have in store for you, like Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, which is probably soon, but probably we'll be starting together when we receive the trial deck and stuff like that, somewhere in March. Or Vanguard stuff, mostly, which is what we are focused at the moment. Do follow us and subscribe. The subscribe button is at the bottom. Yeah, go and click on that. At the same time, you can follow us on all our socials, like Facebook, Twitter, at Crossbone VGS, our blog, Crossbone Vanguards. At the same time, our Discord, we'll be looking forward to talk to you and all the stuff. And of course, do consider supporting us on Patreon because we will. If you like to see uh, the upcoming, or at least we're trying to make the Vanguard web series, please do support us. We really could use all the help we can get. So okay, that's it. Thanks for for watching and looking at me fail so horribly. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.